Red. Okay, hello everyone, how are we? Well, I've been better, Red. Hello, all of my fabulous, beautiful people, and how are you all doing today? We are doing on Passive Week because they did not keep their promise of releasing nine products by the end of August, so we are going to continue that today, and I am going to be reacting to Red here, giving us his Saturday update, which he just uploaded and I grabbed, and then I'm gonna be releasing a little short video later on where we're just gonna laugh as memes for a palette cleanse. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and then get right into Red being cringy. Everybody, today is Saturday, the 3rd of September. How time is flying on. So, has everybody calmed down uh, from the absolutely amazing webinar on uh, Thursday that we had? Did we all watch the same webinar? Because what I saw was not that amazing, Red. And no, I have not yet calmed down. I'm still very pissed off. And obviously, I did the recap. Uh, yesterday as well of that webinar. I am still absolutely buzzing. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm certainly still on cloud nine with what we heard there. Is that what's going on? Everyone's up on cloud nine, so they all forgot that they were promised nine products by the end of last month and three more by the end of this one. So then they're just totally fine with being told that everything's coming out on the 20th of November. Is that what it is? For anybody who hasn't listened to it in this channel, is the recap that I did of uh, that webinar. Also, if you log into the back office and go to updates, not only is my recap there, also the recording of Ash Mufara. And I certainly suggest to everyone to go and have another listen. Wait, another listen? Like, watch it for a second time? It is really is amazing how much you get out of it a second time. Now I'm good. The calendar. Now, I do talk about the calendar a lot now. So I'm just going to grab the parts of this that are very important for us to listen to and then we're going to skip the rest because I don't want to hear him talk for that long. I'm just being honest. Remember I said it's been updated so it has upcoming webinars in it now and if you notice the colour change has uh, changed on the round icons in those. So uh, whereas before it was just blue on every icon, now uh, the old days are in a lighter color. Today's date is in the blue and we have, uh, sorry, green. And then we have a blue for the ones that are coming up in the future. You mean to tell me that the calendar did not have future webinars on it? Well, what would it have on it then? I mean, that's all anyone does is go to webinars. Also, wow, guys, would you listen to that? They changed the colors. <gasps> Amazing. Other, two other big sort of news I have for you. Uh, one is we were in the uh, Khalif uh, Times, which is a paper in Dubai. Uh, all over that, great write-up. Uh, it's been posted everywhere at the moment on all of the social media pages, including my page. Uh, if you haven't read the write-up, there is a link in the one that I did. Uh, that gives you the full story. Go and have a read of it. Absolutely amazing. Good idea, Red. So here is the article on passive launches in UAE. And as you can see, they have this beautiful picture of the building with um, passive on it here. The article actually came out on Friday the 2nd, and it reads, 
U.S.-based company on Passive recently launched its new headquarters in the UAE. The launch was introduced to the public with an outdoor marketing campaign that started from the Burj Khalifa, where their offices are based and covered all the famous districts in Dubai, including the media screens at the Dubai Mall. On Passive, notice they even put it in capitals, is a software development company that builds fully autonomous SaaS products using the latest AI software technologies for global customers. Ash Mufara, founder and CEO on Passive said, On Passive is a one-stop solution for all your business needs. If you are an entrepreneur with an existing or a new business, you can use our products to create a digital footprint or increase your online customer base. The company has also rolled out its crowdfunding platform, Oblast. No, it hasn't. The platform will not just cater to causes, but will also provide a medium for startups and innovators to showcase their products and get much needed traction to get financial support. With a considerable demand for crowdfunding platforms, Oblast will benefit all users who require funds for various meaningful causes and advance innovation projects. Realizing the hard facts involved in crowdfunding, Mufara explained that OnPassive has the software, hardware, and expertise to provide real-time and offline verification of an individual's identity backed by a dedicated compliance team. Since when? He said, We ensure our platform takes on a campaign and gets the required verifications done through the automated KYC. Know your customer checks in the minimum possible time by implementing machine learning and advanced AI systems to catch documentation fraud, identity theft, and real-time aliveness verification. Sorry, I felt like that's how he would have read it. And that's all it says. So, uh, yay! Bunch of bullcrap. Anyway, Red, what else you got to say? So, our CEO at the moment, guess where he is? Yep, he is watching or there for the launch of Artemis, uh, which is this heavy rocket that uh, Elon Musk is sending up uh, on its first mission uh, towards the moon and round it and then back into orbit again. It is the heaviest, largest rocket ever launched from Earth. Uh, it is taking, um, I think it's 10 or 12 different satellites with it as well that are going to be deployed yeah red uh that's cool and everything but it has nothing to do with on passive and neither does elon musk and if you're trying to imply that these satellites have anything to do with on passive they don't either so what does it have to do with an update for the company please let us know uh, to give a big scan of the moon and various aid, uh, other places as well so really is uh exciting uh, okay, uh, he sent us some pictures of that. I do know that Gersminder has posted those pictures. I might post those pictures later on my Facebook page so you can have a look at them. Still failing to see what this has to do with on Passive Red. So I wish the launch well. I hope it all goes according to plan. And I hope that there is, uh, I hope there is, Sorry, someone keeps messaging me. Uh, I hope there's no delays for anything else in the future. Yeah, with the on passive products and launch, I also hope that there's no future delays, but uh, th that's not what you're talking about here, is it, Red? So those are two p big pieces of news uh, that I wanted to bring to you. Uh, as far as uh, other lives today is concerned, I know that Chris Johnson is not doing a live today. Don't really see how that was an on passive update as it had to do with Elon Musk, who has nothing to do with on passive. But anyway, I guess one of your people were there, so then it suddenly becomes about on passive. But uh, oh no, why isn't Chris going live today? He usually does. Uh, I spoke to him just before I came on here. He sounds, still sounds very groggy. Two days now he's been in bed, so 
Let's send him our good wishes and prayers for a speedy recovery. I send him some healing vibe. I do hope that Chris feels better, but I also hope that he takes this time of not doing these on passive lives to really think about this company and the fact that nothing is actually happening with it and he's been lied to by Ash for five years. And as far as Marty is concerned, I haven't spoken to Marty for a couple of days. And also, I haven't seen an update uh, in my channel for his live. I normally have got one there. Uh, and as yet, I haven't seen uh, anything there that uh, says he is doing one. So uh, he might be on or he might not. And now they're gone because of your bull****. Way to go, dumbass! What'd you do to Chris and Marty, Red? Talking of videos, uh, I'm uploading uh, at the moment a lot of uh, other people's content to try and get them going in their YouTubes. So please uh, watch it and then uh, go and subscribe to their channels as well. Head dumbass! Red here seems to think that when he steals other people's content and puts it on his own channel, that's helping their channels. Uh-huh. Nah, I got nothing other than... Dumbass! Not be doing a, a uh, live tomorrow. I'll try and have uh, Sundays off as I'm doing the lives. Uh, Bridget McKenzie, thank you so much for rejoining the Tea Club again as well. Goes a long way. Thank you. Um, so I'm having tomorrow off uh, from those and on passive Robert Tantillo. All of them have to stop enabling each other. This is getting ridiculous. Stop donating to this man. Dumbass. Uh, I hope the update yesterday, the, the recap that I did from uh, Ash Mufara was useful, of value, made sense, uh, cleared some things up maybe in your mind as far as what he was saying. Uh, I did expand a little bit on what I perceived him to be saying. Uh, no one said to me that I was off the mark, so that's always a really good uh, a good thing. The funny thing here is that everyone has to expand and speculate about what Ash is saying because he literally makes no sense and almost needs everyone else to translate. I'm starting to think that that's why everyone does those recap videos so that they can translate what Ash was trying to say which still ends up being a whole lot of nothing. Every single day now, and I've been saying it for a long time, we are one day closer to our goal and to that launch process to uh, be a customer-based business. Now, if you've listened to my uh, recap or you were listening to Ash Mufara, we are getting very, very close. So it really is imperative at the moment for people to be logging in to stay tuned to know what is going on. Once again, everyone, make sure you log in and engage to this company that is supposed to be all about doing nothing and making passive income. This drives me insane. Um, I've had a couple of people who have reached out to me and said, Red, you know we're starting with Omail and Onet. Does this mean we will be getting commissions from it as well? Oh, behave. <laughs> Now, remember, Ash Mafara has always said we can only get commissions from something that we own and we sell. Yeah. Now, as these are free, I would not think we would get commissions from sharing Omail and o, uh, Onet with people that we know. OK, so they have to pay for the use of these products and now they have to wait longer to make commissions because those ones are free is what you're telling us, Red? I might be wrong, but that is my interpretation. Well, you can't make any commission off zero dollars, Red. No wonder why this company is having problems. So you're probably thinking, well, what benefit is it to me? Yeah. Well, the benefit is, is because once that person has clicked on your referral link and they become part of your organization, what do you think on passive is going to do? What Rip them off for all their money? What do you think those people are going to do? Either leave or end up stuck in this weird cult of personality surrounding Ash and this awful scam that's going to leave them broke? They're going to absolutely love 
using these free versions and they're going to want to know more about on passive they're going to want to know more about the other products and services of on passive and they are going to eagerly be awaiting the release of other products and services Dumbass, what products and services? There are no products or services here. Those will be the only two that are being released. So what are you talking about? No one's gonna wanna be a part of this cult. It is a complete scam and Ash is not as great of a person as you all make him out to be. And that's about as much as I can take of this. Dumbass! Which is okay because that's all the man had to say other than to go on and talk about how amazing all the products were going to be and how amazing Ash is as always and then saying hello to everyone and receiving way too many donations from way too many enablers and other victims of this scam. So I am going to be releasing a little bit of a palette cleanse meme video by the end of today and then tomorrow I think we should just hang out and just kind of have a little vent session and talk about this scam as it's stressing a lot of us out right now, especially since they did not release those nine products as promised. They aren't going to release the three this month, and now they are claiming that they're releasing two free products by the 20th of November, and none of us are confident. So, Please do give this video a like, subscribe if you are new here. I would love it if you joined our fabulous, amazing members. All of the beautiful people do, and you don't want to be ugly on the inside like right here. So go and hit that join button. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. And I hope that you all take a moment and go do something that you love just to feel good between these on passive videos. Because yes, this is kind of a stressful scam and it does prey on vulnerable people and it is kind of upsetting. So I hope that I provide you some comedic relief through all of this and I am going to see you all very, very soon to do it again and continue on with our on passive week. Take care. Mwah. Bye. And make sure you don't join this scam because it makes me feel like... Behave. Dumbass. <laughs>